So today we would dis start our discussion from the Fresnel's, Fresnel's formula that we had derived yesterday. This is the equation that we'll start from. Uh, let me try to simplify this. Okay. So if I take the numerator of these, then you'll have cos square alpha into v y square minus v square into v z square minus v square plus cos square beta into if I've taken cos square beta then v x square minus v square and v z square minus v square plus cos square gamma it will be v x square minus v square and v y square minus v square and if this is zero then numerator must be equal to zero the denominator is basically this into this into this so all the multiplying three denominators so if the Fresnel's, Fresnel's formula is true then this must be also equal to zero now let us try to simplify this uh, in the case of uniaxial crystal as I told you yesterday also that now we are left with epsilon x epsilon y and epsilon z only where uh, they are the relation between dx is epsilon x ex dy is epsilon y ey and dz is epsilon z ez so we are left with three unknowns now but in case of a uniaxial crystal what we said is that we'll have ex two of them equal so ex is let's say equal to ey but both of them are not equal to ez in biaxial crystal all of them would be different but we would be studying uniaxial crystal so in the uniaxial crystal two of them are same the other is different but now we also know that we had taken vx as what 1 by mu ex vy similarly as 1 by mu epsilon y and vz as 1 by mu epsilon z which means that if ex and ey are same then even vx and vy would also be same which would not be equal to vz so this would also lead us to the understanding that vx is equal to vy and they are not equal to vz so let me let me denote this as sum v0 and let me say that the other one vz is sum ve so once we choose this for uniaxial crystal let me write down this equation again so cos square alpha vx and vy both are vo vo square minus v square this is now ve so ve square minus v square plus cos square beta v O square minus V square and V E square minus V square plus cos square gamma and this would be same V O square minus V square and that would also be V O square minus V square because V X and V Y both are equal to V O so this which means that I can take v o square minus v square common v o square minus v square common then left with taken this common so v e square minus v square cos square alpha plus v e square minus v square cos square beta and plus v o square minus v square 
Kosko gamma. This is equal to zero. All of them are equal to zero. Which means that V O square minus V square. I can take V E square minus V square common and we are left with cos square alpha plus cos square gamma cos square beta plus V O square minus V square cos square gamma equal to zero. Now we know that what are cos alpha, cos beta, cos gamma? They are cosine angles of n. So basically, we already know that cos square alpha plus cos square beta plus cos square gamma is 1. So this is 1 minus cos square gamma, and which is nothing but sine square gamma. So now let me put this in the equation v o square minus v square into v e square minus v square and this is nothing but sine square gamma plus v o square minus v square cos square gamma equal to zero. If I open this up v o square minus v square v e square sin square gamma minus v square sin square gamma minus v square sin square gamma plus v o square cos square gamma and minus v e v square cos square gamma equal to 0. So v o square minus v square uh, you can see that this v square sin square gamma and v square cos square gamma. So sin square cos square will become 1. So you will have v e square sin square gamma plus v o square cos square gamma minus v square only equal to 0. So this leads us to two values of v. One is when this is 0, then v square is v o square. But when this is 0, then v square is v e square sin square gamma plus v o square cos square gamma. So we are getting two different values of the velocities. One is this, the other is this. The thing to be noticed is that V O is not depending upon alpha, beta, gamma, any any angles. So V would be same in all the directions. But V is depending on gamma. Gamma is which angle? Gamma is the angle between K, uh, between the vector K which was written as the unit vector n and the x, y, z, so between n and z axis. So the angle between n and z axis is nothing but gamma. We generally know that this angle is uh, written in, in the spherical polar coordinates. The, we write this angle as theta. So let me stick to that only. So this v square is v e square sin square theta plus v o square cos square theta. So where theta is the angle between k and the z axis. So if I look at, uh, let's say that this is x, y, z directions. Okay. Then this x, y, and z directions. Then v would be same in all the directions. So after some point, the, this wave, the wave which is moving with respect to v, uh, with the velocity v, 
would make some kind of sphere over here but the wave which would be moving with this v velocity would be theta dependent theta dependent and theta is the angle between k and the z axis so when theta is zero when theta is zero so which means that along the z axis when theta is zero this would become zero this would become one so then v this v would be equal to v o square but when theta is 90 degrees when theta is 90 degree and let me call this as v1 and this as v2 so now we are talking of v2 only so this is when theta is 0 then v2 also is v0 which is equal to v1 but when theta is pi by 2 when theta is pi by 2 then this would become 0 and this would become 1 so v2 square would be equal to v e square so if v o and v e are different and how will be they different they will be different if the two e x and e y are different so if e x and e y are different then if then v v o and v e would also be different and then everything would be uh, the v would also be different in both the directions so v2 is v o in the z direction but it is not it is something else in the theta pi theta pi by 2 is what either x or y both the directions uh, theta would be uh, the angle from z and since it is pi by 2 pi by 2 would be x also and pi by 2 would be y also so in both the direction the velocity would be v e not v o so it would be different so it would basically mean something like this hmm, that it is different over here it could be smaller also it could be larger also but it could be it would be different but along the z axis it would be seen so if you if you try to visualize this then in with respect to time the the velocity that uh, that would make this shape would be something like this shape hmm, i'm just i don't know how much it would be clear to uh, let's say i got this only my home uh, if, you, if you look at this from from this angle uh, there is one sphere that is made by v0 the velocity v0 which is same in all the direction that would be a spherical but the velocity which should be different in z direction but same in xy direction so in one xy direction this is the xy direction xy direction is same here but z direction it is different so something of this sort something of this structure would be would be developed something of this structure would be different you can see that both one would be an ellips ellipsoid hmm, either smaller one depending on v is smaller than v o or v is larger than v o okay if this case would be when v e is larger than this v o this v o so this is also v o so this is your sphere this is sphere but if v e is larger than then it would be this shape the shape that i am now showing it to you but if it is smaller then it would be something like this but in both the cases if you see in both the cases the two structures would touch along the z axis hmm. you can just see that it, it would touch here also and here also only on two points uh, this structure is not touching each other on a circle it is not touching on a circle it is only touching at this point and at this point so only two points and the 
the line joining that is nothing but the z-axis. A structure or O structure. A structure or sphere. Z-axis pe hi ye touch ho rahi hai. Hmm. Either like this or the sphere and this one. But in both the cases, this is when VE is more than VO. This is when VE is less than VO. In both the cases, you have two velocities. Z in the Z, Z direction, both the velocities are seen. In the XY direction, both velocities are maximum different. In all other directions, they would be the difference would be between these two okay so the structure that i would like you to visualize inside your mind would be something like this which is touching only at two points and no other points if you can get a clear view of this thing then i think in the next lecture we will see that how this leads you to different possibilities of the cases in which uniaxial crystal sometimes um, behaves in a manner in which you get double refraction okay and that also happens only because the fact that there are two waves as soon as the wave moves inside an anisotropic an medium what is happening that instead of one velocity you have two velocity two waves one moving with v1 velocity which is same in all the direction which makes the circle the the sphere and the other which in uniaxial crystal moves with different velocities in x direction y direction and in the z direction and that makes an ellipsoid kind of a, of a uh, shape so in the next lecture we will see that how this leads to different other uh, discussions. Thank you very much.